paraphrase the poet, will no one rid us of this troublesome woman? Hillary Clinton and her denial of deceit and delusion will just not go away. She just keeps spreading it in further and further corners of the globe, hoping that nobody there will know what really happened. Now she's in India, explaining to a prominent India uh, news br uh, broadcaster she, why she lost the election. She lost the election because white women were listening to their husbands too much. Yeah, she said that right here. I was also surprised uh, looking at the details of the American election is how almost 52% of white women voted for him in spite of the Billy Bush tape and so forth. Uh, how do you explain that? Well, I, sh I should start by explaining that um, Democrats, uh, going back to my husband and even before, but just in recent times, going back to Bill and, and, and uh, our candidates and then President Obama, have been losing the white vote, including white women. Uh, we do not do well with white men, and we don't do well with married white women. Um, and part of that is a, an identification with the Republican Party uh, and a, uh, a, a sort of ongoing pressure uh, to uh, vote the way that your husband, your boss, uh, your son, whoever, uh, believes you should. And what happened in my election is I was on the way to winning um, white women until <clears throat> former director of the FBI, Jim Comey, dropped that uh, very ill-advised letter on October the 28th, and my numbers just went down because all, and I heard a lot of anecdotal evidence about this. People have written about it. All of a sudden, you know, white women who were going to vote for me and frankly standing up to the men in their lives and the men in their workplaces uh, were being told, she's going to jail. You know, you don't want to vote for her. You know, it's going to be terrible. You can't vote for that. So it just, it stopped my momentum and it decreased my vote uh, enough because I was, I was ahead, I was winning, and I thought I had fought my way back in the 10 days from that letter until... Uh, the election, I fell a little bit short. And so I think that it, it was part of a historical trend that I was bucking and then it collapsed on me. Okay, so here's a little reminder for Hillary and that broadcaster and for everybody else what happened during the election. First, black people did not vote for Hillary. They stayed home. That was the distinguishing characteristics of black people in Philadelphia, Cleveland, and Milwaukee, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Wisconsin. They didn't vote for Trump. They stayed home. And when you, I mean, you look at women, how women voted, married women with children voted for Trump overwhelmingly. White women in divorces who maybe don't have a very positive view of their former male counterparts, well... They were all down with Hillary and her talk of sexual uh, resentment and racial hostility. You know, during the election, uh, after the election, a bunch of people came out with books and their big, the big theme of the books, a couple of them was, Hillary didn't have a message for white people. Well, of course she had a message for white people, especially during the primary, where during every joint appearance with her and Bernie Sanders and other people, the main message, they spent 25% of the time talking about this, they spent talking about white hostility and black victimization and uh, white on black hostility, how black people are relentless victims of relentless white racism all the time, everywhere, that explains everything. She, she and Bernie Sanders spent all their time vilifying white people, and now they want to, and now Hillary wants to know why white people, white women in particular didn't vote for her and that reporter from India he just stood there he didn't know anything about anything except well Hillary should have won obviously then Hillary played the husband card Did there, didn't the reporter in India think it was strange that Hillary would bring her husband into this conversation as a champion of women given his own record of dealings with women in the White House all those people that said he raped them all those settlements he made 
all the time Hillary spent enabling it, all the time Hillary and her cohorts went around vilifying these women. And now Hillary comes back and wants to know why women are not down with her. They didn't want her to be president. Wow. A mystery to her, a mystery to him, and not a mystery to us. Especially when we realize that not just in America, but also in India, the newscasters and a lot of the people there, they just don't want to hear anything that might make the black kids angry. Thank you.